Hey everyone, Matt Morris here, and we are on part six, how to develop force to dominate your life in 2019. I think this will probably be the final episode here, definitely be the final episode. Appreciate you guys for uh, those of you that have tuned in on the last ones, part one through five. If you have not watched one through five, make sure you go back and do that. And I think you can get some pretty cool value out of this. And so what we've gone through over the last five days is the uh, manifesto, my own personal manifesto. I shared a bunch of that with you guys. Um, I've had a bunch of people ask me to send mine. And you know what? Mine is really personal to me. So I, what I would tell you to do is go through, I've basically told you everything that's in it. So go through that and create your own. I saw a post from my buddy Tom Chenault and, uh, today and it said, you will never be um, any, you know, tagged all these people who are, you know, influencers in network marketing. And, um, you know, that's the reality is as much as you want to be someone else, you can never be someone else. And you should never try to be someone else because as long as you're trying to be someone else, you're never going to be the most powerful version of yourself. And what you got to really step into is the belief that you are amazingly powerful. If you step into the ultimate uh, the most powerful version of you, you are as powerful or more powerful than anyone else out there. And I'm telling you, it's the start, the beginning of true greatness comes when you realize that the most powerful version of you is as powerful as anyone else. So you got to really realize that. So as we got some people popping on, uh, doing this a little bit later than normal in the day has been a jam packed day as you come on. In the comments, let me know where you are tuning in from. And if you're watching this live, drop me a live in the comments. If you're watching it on the replay, drop me a replay. And so the uh, final part here is uh, affirmations. And so uh, this is something that I change all the time. Sometimes I go through an affirmation and I feel like, you know what, I've really become this. I don't need to affirm it anymore. Uh, some, I feel like I am that, but I feel like I want to have that affirmation. Um, I want to continue to program myself to be that in an even more powerful way. Sometimes I notice a lack in my life and because of the lack in my life or the struggle that I'm having or a challenge that I'm having, I create an affirmation to overcome it. And the reason, the whole purpose behind the affirmations. Now, I, I know I'm speaking to the choir. If you're following me, you're into personal development. You probably follow Tony Robbins and a bunch of other powerful people. And, you know, the whole thing about um, affirmations and why affirmations work. Tony says incantations, <laughs> uh, not affirmations, but it's the same concept and it's all programming. We are who we've programmed ourselves to be. We are who our parents have programmed us to be. We are who society has programmed us to be. And um, you get to really invent whoever you want to be based on how you program yourself externally from what you allow into your life based on the meaning that you give experiences in your life and based on the internal programming, what you say and what you think about yourself on a consistent basis. You become what you think about most of the time was something that I read in Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, first personal development book I ever read when I was 18. Uh, I read that, <laughs> I always joke and say, I read that and I thought, man, if that's true, you become what you think about most of the time, I'm definitely gonna turn into a girl. So here's the thing is a lot of the affirmations, I'll give you just one example uh, that I created years ago when I started doing this consistently, I created an affirmation that said, you are the leader. I am the leader that every other leader is looking for. I am the leader that every other leader is looking for. And here's why I became a good salesperson in network marketing. I got to the point where I could personally enroll people, but I couldn't get any duplication. And that was number one. I wasn't digging in with people. But number two, I was recruiting people at a lower level than me. I wasn't recruiting at a higher level. So I was about a four on the leadership scale and I'm recruiting threes and twos and ones, right? So I'm not getting a lot of duplication. And I read John Maxwell's book and he said, there's two types of math. There's follower math and leader math. Follower math, you grow by addition. Leader math, you go grow by multiplication. And I'm like, man, I want to grow by multiplication. And so if I want to 
grow by multiplication. That's going to happen for me recruiting leaders. And in order for me to recruit leaders, I've got to be a powerful leader myself. So what's an affirmation that I can create that can help me recruit other leaders? And that's how I came up with, I am the leader that every other leader is looking for. And an interesting thing happened almost immediately after I started doing that affirmation, like a hundred times a day, I'd do that as I went into presentations. I immediately started recruiting more powerful people because it immediately changed my mindset and immediately changed my confidence. And over the years, I've noticed in so many cases, as soon as I start doing an affirmation on a regular basis, it manifests in my life. I can remember Tony Robbins, uh, not Tony Robbins, I was at uh, GoPro in uh, Europe. I think I was in Manchester. And I have speaker affirmations. So before I get on stage, I'm saying, uh, you know, I touch, move, and inspire people. I'm the best there's ever been and the best there ever will be. I say pr uh, prayer, God, please allow me to, um, you know, say what needs to be said in order to make the biggest impact. And, you know, I've got a handful of these, right? And so um, I, ch I added one and it said, I hit people right in the heart. And it was one thing that I said over and over and over again before I got on stage. Um, because that's really what I, my intention was to hit people in the heart and have them, you know, realize how good they are to kick into uh, another level in their lives. And so I, uh, first time I'd ever done the affirmation, got on stage, did my talk off stage. People are, you know, they line up for pictures and all that. So I'm doing pictures and there was a, um, a lady standing off to the side and she's not, you know, coming up and she waited until everyone was done. And then she came up and said, I wanted to just, I, you know, after everyone left, I just wanted to tell you at one point in your heart, in your talk, I felt like a truck hit me right in my heart. <laughs> and I immediately got goosebumps because I had never t been told that before specifically. And I had never given that specific affirmation before. And so obviously there's a correlation. I mean, I've spoken hundreds and hundreds of times it's no coincidence that the first time I say I hit people right in the heart, someone comes up and says, I felt like a truck hit me right in my heart. So I'm telling you, I am a believer that this works in a big way. Now, it's not like you have an affirmation that says I'm a millionaire and all of a sudden you're a millionaire. It's going to take some time. See, you, <laughs> we, we get screwed up and it takes a while to screw us up. It takes a while to develop some negative belief patterns. And so sometimes it'll take a while to develop some positive belief patterns. And so it's not like you're going to say it and all of a sudden, you know, you're a brand new person. But as you program yourself over and over and over again, it starts to take effect. And so um, I've got a handful of these, something that I do um, every once in a while is I'll actually go to sleep listening to the affirmation. So I've recorded this, uh, very simple to do. You can do the voice recorder on your phone. I use a program, it's free called Audacity. And I record my affirmations on my computer. Um, it's a uh, couple minutes long and then I copy and paste it for an hour. And so when I go to sleep, I put it really low where I can barely hear it on the bedside table. And so as I'm sleeping, I'm hearing myself say, I'm the leader every other leader is looking for and it, I hear the affirmations, right? And so I'm programming myself as I'm sleeping. It's getting into the subconscious mind. And we're not, we don't have time to go through all that. I got a jet, I've got another call here shortly, so I gotta be quick here. So I'll just give you a, a handful of, of these. You know, my children and I share a profound connection and I'm overjoyed every day because of the amazing love we have for each other. I feel excited, confident, and exhilarated every morning when I wake up. I bounce out of bed first thing knowing that the day has huge opportunity for me. So why did I create that one? I created that one because if I'm real with you, in the past, I have had a hard time getting up in the morning. I've, ne I've literally, in my life, never been a morning person. And so if I want to become a morning person, I've got to change my mindset about being a morning person. And every time I say I'm not a morning person, what do I become more of? <laughs> not a morning person. And so if I want things to change, I got to change my mindset. And so I jump out of bed first thing knowing the day has huge opportunity ahead for me, okay? 
So I love taking massive and impactful action every day because I know it leads to long-term success. I have boundless levels of energy, okay? People ask me all the time, how do you have so much energy? You know, you do these world tours and you're just always up, you're always bouncing around, you're, you have no problem getting on stage if you haven't slept. It's why, it's because I've been programming myself for years that I have boundless levels of energy. This is one that I believe is true and I keep affirming it. Why? Because I want to continue. When I'm 80, 90 years old, I want to have boundless levels of energy. People naturally want to buy whatever I'm selling because they know it will make a positive impact in their lives. So I want to be an amazing salesperson. When I'm on stage and I'm doing a presentation for representatives in my company, I want to deliver. When I'm doing a three-way phone call for uh, you know, a new person in my group, I want to be able to deliver the goods. It's my responsibility to be good for them. And so I'm affirming this. And because I now really believe that's true, people naturally want to buy whatever I'm selling because of who I am and the way I communicate. I have a much higher closing ratio because I believe that about myself, okay? Success comes to me easily. I easily earn over $1 million per month. Abundance and prosperity flow to me from every direction. So I'll, I'll be real with you. I'm not earning a $1 million a month right now. But if I want to earn a $1 million a month, I better believe that I'm earning a million dollars a month. I need to build my identity to be earning a million dollars a month. And so I'm programming myself to make that a reality. My life is an exciting adventure and I feel completely fulfilled. I'm a peak performance athlete and I get stronger and gain more muscle mass every single week. Um, and I could go on and on and on, right? Um, uh, you know, I motivate people to take action. I have an amazing memory and an uncanny ability to remember names. I'm one of the most intelligent and gifted men in the world. So every time I say I'm one of the most intelligent and gifted men in the world, uh, my subconscious mind is taking that on as a command. And so I believe that I'm getting smarter every day as I'm saying that. So here's the bottom line. I don't need to go through all my affirmations with you. You get the point. You want to think about what is it you're good at and affirm it. Um, to an even higher degree. What is it you have challenges with? And affirm the opposite to be true. And program yourself into ultimately what you want to become. Here's how uh, my best recommendation on creating your affirmations is if you could be anyone, who would you be? And I don't mean be Matt Morris or be Tony Robbins or be anyone else. I mean, what is the ultimate version of you? One of my affirmations is I'm one of the most confident men in the world. So if I could be anyone, what would I be? Well, I'd be the most confident man in the world. I'd be one of the most confident men in the world if I could be anyone. And so if I want that to be true, I need to program my mind. I need to brainwash myself in order for that to become a reality. So listen, you're getting brainwashed anyway. Your friends are brainwashing you. Television is brainwashing you. The media is brainwashing you. Major brands are brainwashing you. So start brainwashing yourself to become a powerful person. So that's what you write down. What do you want your body to look like? How fit do you want to be? What do you want your relationships to look like? What, what relationship do you want with your children? What relationship do you want with leaders on your team? Whatever it is, write it down as if it's already true. You can't say, I want to be a millionaire. If you say, I want to be a millionaire, you're programming your subconscious mind that you are not a millionaire because you want to be one, okay? I am going to be a millionaire. That's training your subconscious mind that you are not a millionaire. So your affirmations need to be in the positive as if they were already true. So my friends, develop those affirmations, get them down, go back and watch episode one through five. If you want to live a powerful life, I believe I've given you several things that can help you out with that. Thank you so much for the comments. Thank you for the hearts and thank you for the love. If you feel like this can add some value to some others, hit that share button and be of service to some others, you can always hop over to mattmorris.com, put your name and email address in there, and you will get my free videos delivered to your inbox every single week. And through my website, you can also access my YouTube channel. I've got over 300 free training videos on there. So listen, hope you got a lot of value out of this. And as always, go make life an adventure. Take care, everyone.